Hi guys, today we're going to be showing you of how to making a Yu-Gi-Oh deck and how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So first, what you're going to need is some Yu-Gi-Oh packs, but we don't have them some right now, so <coughs> we'll just... Oh, and um, Beth101 is here and me the Shadow Man. And so, yeah. And so, one thing you need to know about um, dual monsters is that you, you need to have, for some strategies, you need to have some spells, I mean traps. And spells. And one of these. One so of these. What, what spells, what traps do, are basically like traps. Like you put them face down on your, on your field. Look, um, um, Beth, can you field. carry this really quick? Yep. So, um, the, your spell card is gonna go in one of the bottom slots like this. And when your, um, when your opponent is attacking, or you can activate it whenever you want, you flip some in it. And so for a spell, let's find one. Um, can you please hurry up, Shadow Man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My and so one time. spell card is mimic is mimic clay so um you can you can um activate it like this so this one can actually copy the other um persons and you can put it down now and no 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 and and uh, no we're not gonna put um because we don't know where the address is <coughs> no we're gonna stop. okay so um then Another thing you need to learn is how to fusion summon things and special summon things. But so the one thing you're gonna need to special summon or to like fuse to summon is a spell card called Promalization. So basically what Promalization does is you get like this is not really a real combination. So, don't judge me, okay? So, I'm just gonna get whatever cards I think would go into it. Like, some cards that I think will be good for it because these cards are just. Ooh, these, these cards are just random and all that stuff. No, no. Just really quick. So, let's. So, let's say you have these two. Well, this is not a real combination, okay? Um, well, let's say you have these two. You use Promalization. And then it can transform into this one. The... And the, the attributes for the... For the spell and trap cards. This is the trap. Right here. Circle right there. And for the spell... Oh. Is this one right here. Blue circle, or this, like this, yeah, or like that. And um, and you need to learn about the attributes too. And so they, there are some, uh, there are also some um cards that you have to tribute summon them. And so what basically what tribute summon is is you get two low low level monsters. You tribute them or sacrifice them into the graveyard, and you can summon a stronger one. And the first monsters that you can put can't be over um, um four levels. Like if they have four of these, you can summon them without tributing. But if they have five, you you have to tribute that one and then get the five one. And so, and basic, and then there's another type. There are the effect types so you have to read right here to know their effects and their their things like wind i mean warrior and effect and so this one's effect is during the, the battle phase of the turn you normal summon this card you can double its or uh, its original attack until the end of the battle phase. 
fourth fourth grade reading level. Gosh. He's in fifth grade. grade. So they have like a darker one right here. And basically and you have to learn how to battle. So there's a thing called a battle phase, a standby phase, and a and a a battle phase, a standby phase, and a main phase. And so what the main phase is is you can summon monsters, but you can only summon one monster each turn. And then in the battle phase, you have to it depends how you unput them. Like if you set it on attack, it has that much attack power and that much life. But if you put it in defense mode, which is turn sideways, it is. You can't even attack with it, but this is how much life this one has. This is how much attack this one has. I mean, attack power and defense power. And so... Yeah. No, I didn't. No, 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 I didn't get any of your cards. Okay, so um, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Shadow Man. And don't don't do it for me. I don't have a YouTube channel. And and, oh, and we're no, no, we're not selling that. And then so you all um, for beginners you need some like a mat. I have this hard mat which has like two sides that I got from in um, from a box that has some some booster packs in them. You can buy them at Walmart when, or Target. When I was little, can. um, I had it a lot and a lot of nail polish, and I and I was accidentally um. Painting. She colored on Joey's face. Look. I was um painting my nails. And well, and, but the real question is, why would you even use this? So, if so, you see that pink spot on Joey's face, that is my sister's nail. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, and you can only have 60 cards in your deck. Oh, 60 my or gosh. less. And if you have less, it's better because there's more proof. There's more chance that you will draw the card that you need. But I use 60 anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and comment what we should do next. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.